Hi everyone, this is Cheryl from Gemzile. I wanted to share with you uh, my latest project that I had to do for um, the Cutting Cafe. So for this week, we had to use the pinwheel um, set. And this set comes with a lot of different shaped pinwheels, um, different sizes, and then also different shapes, or should I say, um, different versions of it because you have it plain, you have it with um, the scalloped edge, and then you also have ones that only have the whole punch just in the four corners. So, um, and it also comes with sentiments. So the one that I chose, excuse me, was this one here that had the scallops um, in it. So um, what I did was I knew the paper that I wanted to use was this really pretty paper here that's got lots of blues and purple and then um, with the butterflies and just a really pretty paper. So I used um, some Cricut paper as my card base because it's um, one side is one color, the other side is another color. And then I wanted to pick up the blue that's actually in this paper. Um, this butterfly is blue and then actually the rest of this on this side it goes from blue to purple to green actually also over here so I knew that I wanted to pick up the blue so I found um, this other paper in my stash this blue paper and now I don't have a lot of double-sided paper only because I don't like working with double-sided paper because I feel that I'm wasting the other side and I love paper too much to do that so what I did was I just um, found some other paper that um, picked up the other colors in the pen on the printed side that I was using really well and I just adhered it together and then cut it out that way. So this is my project and this is what I came up with. I also used a gorgeous girl stamp. This is the one um, where she's it's called sitting and I just colored it with my Copics. Um, I'm still learning how to color really well with it but um, I wanted to pick up the purple that was in uh, the paper that I used. Um, this stick right here, I just colored it with my Copic marker, and then this is the sentiment that I colored and then just inked. Um, also, all of the edges have been inked with um, Tim Holtz Distress Dye Ink, um, the Dusty Concord, and that's this one. So, um, oh, and also this is a ribbon slide um, and a pearl center. Both of these, excuse me, are from, are from Saw Crafters. And then I also just put some... Um, pearl trim for the body, um, the middle part of the butterfly. And I did that on all pieces where there was a butterfly visible. So I think the card turned out really, really cute. Um, and it just says, enjoy your day. And there's a, the gorgeous girl. And then the inside of the card is actually pretty plain. Um, <clears throat> it's just, um, this paper is actually kind of like a, it's not white. It's kind of like an off-white or a grayish color. And then in the corner, I just put an iridescent butterfly. Just a little something. I did want to make it too, too busy. And then on the back is just my stamp that has um, made with love by Cheryl and then my um, address to my blog. Um, and that's it. It's just actually backed on some um, extra pieces of the paper that I used on the front of the card. But that's my card. Um, I think it turned out cute. I hope you guys like it. Um, let me know what you think. Um, <clears throat> again, this is using the pinwheel set. And I'll make sure that I leave the information um, down in the info sorry, leave the information down in the box below so that you guys will have a direct link to the file that I used. Um, so again, let me know what you think and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.